Um, today we're going to look at how to build the electric outlet. Um, I've got some basic shapes set up and we're going to be using pretty much everything. We're going to be copying pieces, copying objects. We'll be in orthographic, which I am right now. We'll flat view, working our way across here um, that we don't need to do. But we're going to be grouping these things together, sometimes ungrouping them. Ungrouping. We'll be aligning just to put things in their place. I don't think we're going to need the mirror much. And remember that you can make an object be solid or like the red thing there. Or we can change it um, into a negative shape which will produce a hole in another object. But we'll leave this one solid. The ones up top are negative because they're going to uh, become holes. Okay, so now we're going to get started. Well, those pieces will be negative. The problems. We'll get to those in a few minutes. Okay, let's get started on the outlet. Um, I've got this turned the wrong way, which is not a big problem. We'll just rotate the squished cylinder, which is what that is, just a cylinder, and position it just lined up with the cube right at that top little point. Give this a nice curve, make this a little skinnier. In fact, let's not make it skinnier. Change my mind again. Okay, we'll work with that. We're going to duplicate the um, cylinder. So these are both the same. One on the left, one on the right. Now it's time to group them. It'll make a single object. Pick all three. And there's our basic shape for the outlet. And we can adjust that a little bit. It looks pretty good. Definitely better than my first attempt. Uh, this we rotate is going to become our prongs. A, f a prong, the hole. For the prong, I should say. Make that 90 so it's turned the right way. Same with this little rectangle down there. We got a minute. We'll position this one. Duplicate it. Because there are two prongs. I'm going to adjust the size just a little bit because the prong on the right is smaller. If you're interested, it's for polarity. And we'll make it a little bit wider. Once I find the place to make it a little bit wider, but uh, we can use the ruler there. We'll put the numbers on the screen. I can go change that, make it 1.5. That looks pretty good. Tops are lined up of my uh, prongs. Now we're going to make the uh, grounding prong out of, out of a rectangle and a uh, cylinder. I'm going to turn this thing 90. Position them together so that the rectangle goes right through the middle of the circle on the bottom. Group them. Put this where it belongs, which is down below, and we're going to center it using the align tool. Only on the top, though, we're not going to center it uh, up and down. Okay, this thing looks pretty good. Now we're going to group everything together. That's going to make uh, a little too tall. We'll fix that after we group it. That's easier because now I only have one thing to, to manipulate, not uh, three, four. Looks good, though. We've got holes all the way through. Okay, leave that at three millimeters. We're going to duplicate this part and make the bottom half of the outlet because they're just two of the same things. We're 
we're going to duplicate it a second time because that will um, I'll use that for another um, help me build another one of the objects to plug. And I'll just put that on the side for now. Um, notice this time that I left a little bit of a space between the two um, the two halves, and what I want to do this time is make a little more realistic one. So that means I'm going to fill this with another cube that's going to go in the waist of the of the, of the shape here. And once we get that right, we're going to group that together. Um, a little detail is that this part is a little bit thinner uh, than the main section, so. Uh, I'm going to have to bring it down. Find out how to manipulate this thing. Probably the simplest thing I could have done is just change the numbers on the right then, which I was, wasn't thinking when I did this. Let's see what it says height. I can just change it right there. But I did finally get it, and now it's sitting in the right place. And I want to align those two together so it's in the center. Just left and right on that up and down. There we go. Now we group this and we'll have the um, entire outlet. And you can see that the, uh, the waste part is a little bit thinner and leaves a little bit of uh, a place there. That'll, later you'll see what that's for. Okay, it looks good. Now we're going to go on to make the plug. So in order to make the plug, I want to get those prongs back out of uh, the shape. And uh, what's notable is that the, we want these parts to fit. So since the prongs are in this, the correct place, if we start building from that everything's going to already be in the right place and it'll fit together and if we try to do it um, from scratch it's going to be just a lot more work to get everything to fit right so we're kind of doing like a cookie cutter thing i'm just deleting all the parts i don't want that leaves me the prong parts that are regrouped this uh bottom because that's a, that's a complex complicated two-part piece there we go and we're going to change them all to solid now that makes them back to the shapes because on, on the um Prong, that's what we want. They're too skinny though for the plug, so I'm going to bring it up. That'll work. And uh, that pretty much is the prongs, and they will fit right in. Okay, so now we've got to make the body of the plug, and um, we could do it on the ground and pull it up, but it's going to be a good place to introduce work plane. So this would be a good place, I'll make it a little taller, a good uh, place to put a work plane. I'm going to put it, so we're just going to start drawing on the top of the prong, so this way everything will start, the body will start in the correct place, I'll have to move it later. Okay, now we finally got around to that, and... Um, making the body is very simple. It's just a um, little trick with the cube and all I have to do to make a more interesting shape out of that is use some of the parameters on the right, make one step and play with the radius slider and it'll make uh, have a nice uh, cut off edged, well, let's call that shape, cube, cube based shape. It needs to be a little bit bigger so it covers the prong so we'll Wait a second, adjust, we'll adjust that. The line was kind of not quite working the way I wanted it to. You can see that it put the prong in the middle, which is not exactly 
what we need. So we'll move it back where it belongs. That looks pretty good. Group it. And the second part's done. Prongs are a little long, but that's easy to adjust. Since it's one part, though, it does all kind of shrink together, but it looks pretty good. We'll leave it at that. Okay, now the last part we have to make is going to be the cover plate. And to use, make the cover plate, we're going to use the, a copy of the outlet as kind of a cookie cutter. So we duplicate it. That's my original. I don't want to mess with the original now. Let's get that out of the way. Ungroup all this stuff. I'm going to ungroup it, delete the prongs, because those are going to be uh, not part of my cookie cutter. And leave everything else, regroup it. Okay, that's a group. Now I just need to make a body for the uh, for the plate. I'm going to make a box. What else? Give it a different color because I'm tired of red. And enlarge it um, so it's bigger than the bigger enough than the um, outlet. That becomes obviously a hole now, so I have to change that to a hole. Or a negative shape. The box is too tall, so this time I'm going to be smart and go down. I'm going to give it a little radius to look a little better. We'll round it off. And we got to change the height because it's way too. I can do it right here. So this time we'll go and make it a. I say three millimeters tall. And you'll see that I forgot to move the work plane back down, so I drew it up a little too high. So I have to move it back down. Put the work plane back on the bottom though. Work plane is a temporary uh, position that you can draw in 3D space. So I'll just move it back down though, not too big a deal. Then we're going to align it, group it, and uh, pretty much that's going to be it. Let's get a better view. This time I do want to center it both ways, up and down, left and right. Looks good. And the last uh, thing to do is going to be to group them together. Just taking another view just to check that um, it's right up and down too. Looks pretty good. So we're going to group. Yep, that looks good. Okay, there we go. And there's the cover plate, the prong, the outlet, fits right together. And if you look closely, you'll see on the, that there's a little uh, thinner strip of uh, material that would go and cover that little waste part of the thing. And there would be a hole there normally, and the hole would be a screw would go through there and screw the, the um, cover plate on. So that's pretty much it. Um, all three parts and notice that um, I got better the second time I did it and uh, which is why I recommend that everybody uh, be, be willing to just repeat yourself okay that's pretty much it and um, I'll see you all next week